with this verse. Shema Isaiah says, Shri Chaitanya Manobishtam Stapita Vyeda Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Pradati Swa Pradatikam When will Sri Rupa Goswami wish on Sri Chaitanya's mind on the surface of the earth give me a place at his lotus feet three, the three questions come to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how is Radha's love for me how is my sweetness and how is she absorbed in this? Accepting Radha's feelings, Sri Chaitanya Deva fulfilled these three desires in so many ways. While relishing this mental desire after the sweetness of Radha's love himself, he had it established and preached to the world by his own dear associate, Srila Rupi Rupa Goswami Pada, in whom the desire had arisen to make the people of the world also relish it in the form of a maidservant of Sri Radha. Srila Vishwanathar <laughs> this is Gauriya Vaishnava. We are taking last line. This is long sentence, yeah. While, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, while relishing this mental desire after the sweetness of Radha's love himself, he had it established he had it established and preached to the world by his own dear associate Srila Rupa Goswami Pada in whom the desire had arisen to make the people of the world also relish it in the form of a maidservant yeah. of Sri Radha. Maidservant of not just not devotion. There you no practice even. You don't believe in Krishna. Krishna devotion means you don't believe in talking. No belief. <coughs> you want to confirm your belief, so you are talking about Krishna. You have still doubt in Krishna. We do the Krishna Katha because we still have no clear vision with Krishna. I am still doubting. The, the, they assign it and go process to Radha Dharcha. This is the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not living with the Krishna. How you can be with Krishna without Radha Dharcha? 
and Krishna become a student of Radhika to learn the love. When he is teaching, if you want to be a lucky, become Radha Dasi. To learn the love of Siddha, to me. If you faith me, believe me, I will show you how she is teaching. I want to be a student of you to learn this. And this Supreme becomes so humble. That humbleness is the greatness of the his quality that he makes him supreme. No God can do like this. Krishna being so humble to learn to love. Yes, love. Because he creates everything, but he cannot create love. He is missing to do that. So when he comes here, he is created. This is the place to take birth. This mother and father have to learn how the mother and father love is. <laughs> Run the mother and father love is born here. Born means I did not take birth, but he appeared here to learn that love. He is a student of love. He wants to learn that. And he is all the scripture is only for that to understand that love is the highest thing. God is the subject and love is the goal of the life. To live in loving age. A stage that is the teaching of Chaitanya. God becomes subject and love is the object. Right? God becomes subject. God is subject to learn the love. So, teaching of God is how to be a student of the love, how to be a servant of the love. Dasi of love. You say, I become Dasi, I become a student. And if you want, I suggest you to become Dasi of Radhika. I do this and I advise you to do that. If you are intelligent, you will understand I am only subject. The goal of mine is love and that is my object. You know understand, so again I I come with the Radhika, Chaitanya, in the form of Chaitanya, to teach you. I also want to say, but it not become clear. So I have to come with my Radhika. She will explain. Then you will understand. Sri Radha. Explains Radhika to Dasi explain. That is the point. Radhika inspired to Dasi. Mm. Dasi never do anything by herself mm. without the desire of the boss. Mm. Yes, here mentioned, right? 
そうクリシナデザイあのソーリーラディカデザイアダディズシュリチャイタニアマノビさんそうユダーシーユーノーベタザンアイプリーズトークプリーズシェアディスラダダシャンラダイスタリングダーシーナイシェアディスラダシャンそれはゴーピープットクリシナのヘッドはクリシナプットゴーピーズヘッド。
グッドコーモーハンオルトでモーハンキャンシーゴーピーズオールウェイジャスターのオールウェイズクリアでヒロルさんいい
the purport, the purport of this is that <clears throat> although in the pre-Chaitanya era, different Bhakti Rasa Shastras were written, the special gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu in the form of brilliant, amorous devotion in allegiance to the beautiful girls of Raj is now being preached to the world by Srimad Rupa Goswami Pada in his books Bhakti Rasamitra Sindhu Utvaran Dilamani Vidanta Madhava more distance, my dear. Is his books Bhakti Rasamitra Sindhu Ujvala Nilamani Vidanta Madhava Lalita Madhava Nataka Stavamala and so on and so forth. <coughs> that amorous mellow of Raja that was previously inaccessible to Brahma, Shiva, Uddhava and others is now by Sriman Mahabrabhu's grace described by the mantra Drashta Ushi, wise seer of Rajarasa, Sriman Rupa Goswami Pada in his Rasika books and dramas made relishable for all ordinary persons in the age of Kali. <coughs> no, no other way if it is not happening like that. In a, this Kalki time, there is no long life. In short time, how you can change yourself? Only with the real Raga Bhakti, taking shelter of the Radha Rani is the easiest process because Krishna will take 20 years to you to understand because He is the Supreme Creator. And you will not, we still will doubt Him. So make life easy and take the shelter of Rajika because she is the giver of the love, divine love. <laughs> And one drop of love will come, you will understand everything. Make life easy. Why you make life philosophy and complicated? Brahma become doubtful in Krishna. You will be more higher than Brahma. Narada. He become doubtful. Then he learn. Read the name. Uddhava. Uddhava. His doubt goes when he see the gopi's love. You are more pandit than Uddhava. You are more close than Uddhava, like a Krishna closeness, eating in one plate both of bread. bread. And he don't understand Krishna. How you will understand? More twenty years that you will not understand. Assign him, Prabhu If you have a doubt, sign him. Okay, I believe you. Signing means this. The doubt will never go. Their doubts not go, Brahma doubt not go, Dava doubt not go, Narada doubt not go. How intelligent you are that your doubt will go. If you make life easy, then take center of Radhika. And if you have more time,
time to know and research this life more put and then you will never understand He is in without form or with form or like this. You work on this way, whole life, or so many life you work before, nothing happens. So make life easy and that is happening by taking shelter of divine power, a ladani shakti to a lot of Krishna. That shakti, that is Radha. Unfortunately, you are living in the land of Radha. <coughs> no one other than the proprietor is able to give one's own property to others. No, please open and not play with me. Leave it like this. No, to give this mic. Don't disturb me. Then I cannot say. If you want, give that mic. Or without mic, I will talk. But no switch on and off this. Then I cannot talk. No disturbance. Uh, no. Two mic is open, the echo will come. Uh, Only one mic should be one. Okay. I turn this off when I'm not. Reading. Then Maharaj's ma ma mic is always open. Uh, okay, let's be that. Yeah, let's be that. Not disturb me. Yes. Sorry. Then I you know, cannot say. Yes. Sorry. Other can say. No, I cannot go in and out. Sorry, my nature is different. Way. No, we can manage. No, it's okay. The day is over. So I said, let it go. Turn that one off. This is echo. Okay, it's okay now? Okay. Well, distance there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, no one other... No one other than the proprietor is able to give one's own property to others. Rasa is the very essence of Godhead. If he does not appear in the world in the form of the deeply compassionate Sri Goranga to distribute this, it would never be attainable to the ordinary people. That Sri Rupa Goswami Pad was inspired by Sriman Mahaprabhu himself to preach the principles of rasa was described by Srila Rupa Goswami Pada himself in the opening of his book, book Bhakti Rasamitra Sintu. <laughs> the, the passage of this Hridi Yasya Karanaya. I praise Lord Chaitanya's lotus feet. Although I am an insignificant soul, I have begun the undertaking of composing Bhakti Rasa scriptures because of the inspiration offered by Him. Sriman Mahaprabhu inspired his beloved associate, Sriman Rupa Goswami Pada, to preach books in Raja Rasa which was his desire to the world. Therefore, those who exclusively desire to relish sweet Vrajarasa, which is the highest class of transcendental Bhagavad Rasa, should definitely take shelter of the lotus feet 
of Srimad Rupa Goswami Pada, the dear associate of Sri Gaur Sundara, who is filled with blissful pastimes and who distributed this Rasika subject to all and everyone and study his Rasika books. Shelter of Rasa. Mm -hmm. Shelter of this is Rupa Goswami. Take shelter. And I think of books. The books. And I think I should say John. These books we listed here. We see so many books. Rasa. 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 <coughs> because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired Rupa Goswami to preach this Braj Rasa, you see, this highest, highest transcendental realization of Bhagavad Rasa. So, this Narottama Das, Narottama Das Goswami, is glorifying Rupa Goswami in this verse. Sri Tetana Manobi Stam Stapitami Rabutale. He's saying to accept Rupa Goswami, accept his books and read his books and glorify him. Because this is accessible to everyone. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire. One was to feel, right, this, Ras, this Radha's love. That was one reason to change in this form, right, this Goranga avatar, this golden avatar. But other reason was to distribute to everyone, everyone in the world. Before it was not accessible. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he opened he opened the door, he opened the gates. Everyone now can taste this and realize this. But he didn't write anything. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu only left, what, eight verse Shikshastika. So he empowered the six Goswamis, chiefly Rupa Goswami, to write these books, to explain this and to give this love to his, to his teachings. And now they close it up. I did. Ah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they have yet to close it. This is the story. Uh, excuse me, I asked, I asked um, Babaji, uh, Ma Mahanini, I said, why? Why is Krishna allowing this? In other words, why is it, this is some arrangement? Why is it there? This closing this up. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to spread to everyone. Why? Why is this happening? How can we understand this? They make the not. There is a three reason for his appearance. Hmm. First and second did not say. Third is the attack. First and second reason, he come to relish him third. Yes. He not say that. Hmm. Reality not saying. He come for Nam Prashad. Hmm. That they are doing the main thing. You also cooperate for that. This is the reason they say. First and second reason, he come for relishing himself. And to give others, they know say that. What they relish, nobody talks. Us? This is three internal reasons, but actually primary reason. 
You have no knowledge, so you are giving this and if it is not favorable in that subject. <coughs> you open yourself, how much you know that. Intelligent will understand how foolish they are. They don't want to understand, they cutting by giving their examples. Mm. Because we learn in the preaching program you have to say something, you have to talk something. And this talking, it shows our realizations, how much deep depths are there. Depthness is there. Sikshastaka Mahaprabhu mentioned everything. How much you will know, you will be more humble. You will hide yourself. Right? Sikshastakam. So what I want to realize, I cut myself. There are three types of listeners. One in the class, one is student, he is sitting, and he is sitting in the first room and listening to the teacher very carefully. And he will always first and one day he become professor. Second, He is listening, he is in classroom, but he is thinking outside, my friends are playing and meeting and going here and there, and I am sitting in the classroom. So mind is some other place, but I am sitting here. And one? is sitting, listening, but at the same time cutting from previous knowledge. So he is also not listening. Who is outside in the mind keeping is also not listening. Only listen and become good student who sit in the first row and rightly and try to understand. <coughs> So once, if you know this real fact of Bhakti Rasa, you will never go in diversion. But Bhakti Rasa come with some bandhaga relations. Bhakti cannot come without relations. 
if you have no relation, bhakti will not rise. And bhakti means love in action. It should be action with love when relations are there. If not, then he acts, then he works. And relation make you connection and behaving like that with Ishtadev. So Ishtadev is important, Gurudev is not important. This is Ishtadev, is the goal of my life. Radha Mohan is my goal. If this is not fixed, Guru will not give you everything. You will not understand what Guru is telling for you. If he is realized, not realized that is separate issue. He will give project to you. Because he no realize, he realize in project he will give show project. If he realized, he will show you the right way. All project will come up. He is the main project. The things will change after his relationship. May I have a question, Rinke? Yeah. I, I, last days I'm thinking about a sentence. You said a um, relationship is only possible when you have your Svaru. And when we are waiting for Svaru, does the relationship is, is only coming from with her mercy from Adarani. I can only wait or can chant or can be here or what can I do for this relationship? Relation will come with material body to the Easter day. When you will see you will not relate because I, my material body will see material. Radha Mohan is from the wood because my heart becomes wooden. Wood, wood is strong, hard. I am covered with the wood consciousness, material consciousness. So I see wood, stone, because my heart is stone. But after that, if you relate with him, it will, he will make you softer to understand. He will make you. That's a relation. And one day you will be so softer that you will relate him and you can feel him. Then your sarup will come. It's not that your sarup will come, then you will see him. His mercy will make you to feel yourself inside. He is the man who makes your heart softer to feel it and see it. So that is the real relationship. Radha Mohan will when will come when you move for him. If you have no other feeling than him, then he will move for you. Why people come and say he is very peaceful? Because he is living here. Some is his devotion, some devotion is that that he is living here. Your devotion will hear, you will feel this. It depends upon my devotion and love. Mm -hmm. 
and every circumstance is positive to feel it and see it. We are not then where. <laughs> Nowhere. You no need to bother for eating, you no need to cook, you no need to think, you have all comforts. Only thing, who gives these comforts? Only He gave us. All comforts are there and life becomes more easy. <coughs> Even the home, not so much comforts you will get. You have to give more energy for that. He took all your this diversions, shortest here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> all responsibility he took. And he is giving everything. <laughs> and then I'm not ready <laughs> to love him. <laughs> he is not surprising. <laughs> we got so covered. <laughs> Listen his sarcastic <laughs> Mahaprabhu speaking. How he said. How to remove discovery? Discovering is creating suffering. Nobody creates my suffering. I have to open my covering. My suffering shall come. And that relation works everywhere, yeah. Believe me. Any soul who is your son, who is your brother, who is that, is all a spark of the one super soul, right? And why we love? Because of the Super soul, because we are the spark of Him. And I cannot relate with you. How crazy I am. How, how much covering is there to not to relate it? I cannot see you. I cannot develop relation and love with you to more develop my consciousness pure. How to remove discovery? That creates suffering. And <laughs> all heavy circumstances in my life. This is pure bhakti. That is raga. Raga means relationship. Vedi means without relation. Raga also means no differences. Raga means prem. One word is prem, but rag means rag duesh. राग भी होता है लेकिन वो राग होता है प्रेम में तो अलग राग होता है राग दोष राग मींस प्रेम दोष मींस नफरत राग मींस प्रेम 
राग के बाद दोष कहते हैं नफरत को दोष एनिमिटी दोष बट राग में स्प्रेड Actually, two meanings. Rag, material meaning and spiritual meaning. So this Guru Dev saying rag is spiritual meaning, not material meaning. Material means you know too much material attachment, you know passion. But this this Guru Dev saying prema, spiritual like selfless like rag. And rag means. Soul to super soul. Soul spark is super soul spark is soul. Super soul one of the spark is soul, and everywhere is the soul, living entity. That to that is divineness. When this vision will come. Radha Mohan, you can relate and see. Then he will open that vision. That now you can see me and feel it. Divinity has to come. A luminous example of how successful Srila Rupa Goswami was. Successful. Successful. We are unsuccessful. Why is he successful? Why not you become successful? This is the question of writer. If he can be successful, why not you to can do it? You can also afford to be success in life. So an example of how successful. Shila Rupa Goswami was in establishing the desire on Shiman Mahaprabhu's mind by the Lord's own grace is given in the discussion between the Lord and Sri Ramananda after Shiman Mahaprabhu and his associates heard Rupa's dramas. In the cottage of Navacharya, Sri Haridas, in Nilachi. Hearing all this, Ramananda Roy submitted to the Lord's feet. Praising Rupa Goswami's poetry with a thousand mouths. This is not poetry. It is a stream of nectar. It carries all the hallmarks of drama and the essence of our philosophy. These wonderful narrations. Show the expertise of love. When hearing this, the ears and the heart whirl of ecstasy. What is the use of this poet composing poetry if it does not make the heads of others? Whirl after it sticks to the heart. <coughs> What is the use of an archer firing an arrow 
If the arrow does not hit another person's heart and make his head whirl of intense pain, makes you to flow to the highest. This is the beauty of this right. Bring you up and up and up and up. You know that it will go down. No, no, you go more up and up and up. This is the beauty of In this up. No way to go down. <laughs> he brings to the pain if he's not happening to me. And pain can come only when really greed is there. Really? Heat? Greed, real greed. <laughs> I want to achieve real Then pain will come. It is not achievable until that. You miss to achieve something. Right? Yes. This pain is there. This pain has to be. Excuse me, Guru Dev. I didn't understand what the, the mean when, when there is greed and there is no connection relation. Then there will be pain. The suffering for the relation. Suffering for achievement of that. To achieve it. Why not I can do that? Why I cannot do? Why I cannot achieve what is missing in my life? Why not I can remove that missing thing? Pain for this, not for other. I suffer that I miss this. How to get it? And greed will increase more and more. And that is rasa. Mm -hmm. That pain creates rasa. Separation is more. I feel that I have to know it. Is this Prayojana? Of what's not making meaning understand. That relies. You are cutting with the words. Then you will see that words are working or not. When you say something, now, you cut with the some word. This is Caesar. Try to understand. Then you put the word. But if you put the word, it means you don't want to understand this subject. Understand? Understand? You want to put the Varyojan word, 
because you don't know for you just what how where to use it. I am explaining you the pain of what has to be pain. That you don't want to go deep and you say the word. This is cutting. This subject is cutting. Go in depth way to understand. This is Siddha. When teacher teach, I say something else. I don't want to go to understand mathematics how to solve very easily. He is telling, but teacher, it can be like this also. Then it's okay to tell. Meaning has to understand. What will Bhaiyaji ke liye bana do. Sakhan, sani, 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 <clears throat> this individual soul can never speak like that without being empowered by you. So Ramananda Roy is saying, this individual soul can never speak like that without being empowered by you. You see, soul. Not this body. So he's referring to Rupa Goswami writing these books. He's saying the individual soul can never speak like that, like Rupa Goswami, without being empowered by you. Hence, I suppose that he speaks with your power. The Lord said, when I met him at Prayag, my mind was pleased with his qualities. I'm very pleased with his sweet poetry, with all its embellishments. Without such poetry, there can be no preaching of rasa. Everyone should be merciful to him and bless him with this boon. Let him always describe the loving flavors of Rajlila. Rajlila. I'll need this. There is nothing else to talk. All is meaningless. Just to think of Rajlila. Only. Is it more, more highest realization? Siddha Mahatma come in this one. Nothing else. There's so many things are in your mind. How to come out of this? That is, huh? that is a thing too. <laughs> <laughs> this mercy come, so many things in the mind, how to come out from this, this is the mercy. That it comes in me, that how to 
what is useful and what is not useful. This is the much when it happens in life. Is a kripa in life when I have this calculation, so many things are there, how we feel from that. This is the one. Yesterday he gets the example, the story of the Babaji get the one rupee. Huh? <laughs> like this story. Yeah. Mm. This is the must. How to come out from this? What I desire, I got it. But how to come out from this? <laughs> this is the mercy. All material thing catching to create the suffering. Average. What? Not giving peace to me. What I think that peaceful is a reason of depression, distressness, unhappiness. Because I leave the goal and I running for something else. If he is there, all will come. And all is there, if he is not there, nothing. Emptiness is there. You see the reality. But day I understand everything is good. Yes. Takes time. Somebody dead words understand. Somebody early understand. Somebody some time takes to understand. Whole life not understand. It's coming. But again, like a market vairagi, for moment come, when you go to the smashan, one time vairagi come to leave this nothing. Again you come involved, you forget everything. सुसान बैराग सुसान को सुसान कहते हैं एक होता है मरकट बैराग लाइक ए बंदर की तरह like a monkey, he never wears there, he has no house, he has no any, any storage room, he take and eat and finish. He never, never has a house, he goes and in the tree to live and no clothes, but so much sexual desires. This is market vairagya. Falgu vairagya. One gaya, there is a falgu nadi. There is many sands. If you put the two, two little sand out, water will come. And after ten minutes, all the sand will come back and cover it. So it very close, but at the same time, immediately cover my mind. 
Relaxation come and cover it. Association make you to build up the reality. There's no need to renounce like a monkey or other, but we have to live in the consciousness. We don't need to be a monkey or we don't need to be renounce whole thing and this तो मेरे लिए काटो ज्ञानंदा भी लेंगे भैया कोकोनट खाओगे Yes. Open. Open. It's open. Okay. No, it's only. I feel the packet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, little. My goodness. <laughs> Everyone should be merciful to him and bless him with this boon. Let him always describe the loving flavors of God's love. When one hears, sings, and remembers the loving Rasika poetry of Sri Rupa that was revealed to him, by Srimad Mahaprabhu's grace, material love appears to be very disgusting, and the hearer and chanter of this transcendental relish will be swiftly blessed. This is learned from the Mahajan teachings. <clears throat> there is a very Rasik Bengali Vadya Nivada song translation of the above three Sanskrit texts. How trivial is an ocean of nectar to he who even once felt the waterfall of Sri Rupa Goswami's Rasika poetry run through the cave of his heart. It makes the essence of lunar nectar even more sweet and destroys the pride of vernal breezes and honey. Vernal means springtime. Springtime. So the springtime breeze is very sweet. I'll read again. It's a very nice metaphor, he said. How trivial is an ocean of nectar to he who even once felt the waterfall of Sri Rupa Goswami's Rasika poetry. Mm, waterfall of Sri Rupa Goswami's Rasika poetry run through the cave of the heart. Of his heart. It makes the essence of lunar nectar even more sweet and destroys the pride of vernal breezes and honey. 
doesn't mean Vedanta. It's just comparing. It's saying that this Rupa Goswami, his his poetry is like a waterfall. So waterfall is so much force, so much water, you can't you can't stop it, right? Waterfall, you try, you know, it's just gushing, gushing, gushing. Mm. Huh? Flows inside you. Well, yeah, he says that compared to the ocean of nectar, this waterfall is much higher, much more powerful than the whole ocean. Right? Ocean is huge, vast, with waves and tsunami, everything. But this waterfall of Rupa Goswami's poetry is sweeter, more powerful when it enters the cave of our heart. Mm. You see? He's speaking like this. The pride of vernal breezes and honey that are destroyed. This I don't understand. So, basically, he's comparing like vernal breeze. It's a springtime breeze and the honey, the sweet things. And the, 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 that is... He's comparing that to pride, right? It's kind of a... You know, like, this, like, you know, we feel material happiness yeah. is very, you know, nice yes. and tasting. Yes. But uh, compared to this Rupa Goswami's, you know, poetry, which give us Vraja Rasa, Madhura Rasa, or, you know, like manja, you know, like bubble glass rasa. It cannot compare. This is very not, you know, material happiness is compared to like nothing. It cannot compare. That kind of. Exactly. <coughs> no, no, no. Little more clear. This look very nice material mm. rasa. Mm. But in the long run, is a very pain. Mm. Temporary. 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 It will give the pain, this rasa. And this rasa is not relishing to you now, but you will relish this rasa and it will be permanent. Test will come. This temporary is temporary. So now you are there, so you feel relishment. Read this line. Yeah, he says, when one hears, sings, and remembers the loving Rasa poetry of Sri Rupa that was revealed to him by Srimad Mahaprabhu's grace, material love appears to be very disgusting. See? The material love appears to be very disgusting. And the hearer and the chanter of this transcendental relish will be swiftly blessed. So just hearing and chanting this poetry of Rupa Goswami will make the material love unattractive, disgusting. We reject it huh? immediately. And very quickly, he says, swiftly, will be blessed by the transcendental relish. Relish means taste, yeah. This is real medicine, real spiritual medicine. Yes. So we may attach so many things, but just the people hearing Bhagavad Gita, spiritual nectar, then disgusting, material life, material taste, is disgusting. It will be there, but it is disgusting. It is stinking. It looks dirty then. What is beautiful before, it becomes dirty. It is not right. Before was relishing and it looks disgusting. What you say? Yes. Because the inner realizations are happening. Before when, when the darkness is there, it was relishing. <coughs> but now same thing is discussed to us. Because there is no taste there. It's tasteless. 
and we think that this is the test reality. Suffering. Therefore, Babaji lives a very simple life, no? Mm. Babaji lives alone, you know, and renounce even king, you know, king like a prince also renounce and stay Braja, very simple life, just Madhukari. This is uh, Babaji, huh? Yeah, it, it, it appears to the material observer, oh, this Babaji, he's suffering, a little bit dirty, he's not enjoying anything, it's very like he's, we, we you know, the material vision has, doesn't see any value in this because the material can't realize that he's feeling so much sweetness, so much nectar is flowing through his heart. But it's not visible to the casual observer. But inside, in, inside is so much sweetness, so much love. That is, this song is giving you realization of this group. Thank you. This is the mercy of group. By the Chaitanya. When we understand this, all career happens, Krishna, everything we see is very clear. And in this book, is written by Narottama Das, Thakur. So he is, we are feeling his mood, right? That glorifying group of the song. He is giving us this feeling, this... Many are writing, but this writer who writes here, this book, he has a realization. Yeah. That is the different issue. Other are writing because of the good English, <laughs> are no realization. And this person, Babaji, has a real realization who bring you up and up and up. You will see, uh, now I will come down. No, more up and up. Endless up you will be. Show me any place that he bring you down. This is the beauty. Endless up he will be. <coughs> By his realization. Bhaktivedanta Swami, when he was leaving this earth, in his final moments, he asked, um, was it uh, Shira Maharaj, or maybe it was um, Bhakti Prama Puri Maharaj, maybe together, they said, please sing Nita, this uh, Rupa Goswami, Sri Rupa, uh, Rupa Goswami, Song, this Shri Rupa Manjari Pada. Yeah, he asked, please sing this song. It's the last thing he wants to hear. Oh, this is Bhakti Shantasarati. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bhakti Shantasarati Thakur uh -huh. want to ask Shri Dana Goswami to, to sing uh, Rupa Manjari Pada before leaving just a few hours ago. Bhakti Bhakti Shan Saraswati Thakur asking to Shridhara Swami, Shridha, ah. you know, Bhakti Rakshaka Shridhara Goswami. Not Prabhupada. Uh, no. Uh, Prabhupada, this Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Bhakti Shan Saraswati Prabhupada uh. ask Shridhara Goswami to sing uh. Shri Rupa Manjari Pada before, just before leaving his body uh. a few hours ago. Uh. A few, you know, before or yes, maybe, yes, you know, yes, yes. several years ago. Yes, this is, this is correct. Yes. Because he want to hear Rupa Goswami's glory. Mm. Remember Rupa, Go Rupa Manjari. Mm. That is it. Mm -hmm. And the Shridhara Swami was, is, is, he sings is not too beautiful as like other, mm -hmm. but his heart is full of love. Yes, yes. Heart is full of love. Full of love. Full of, you know. Actually, there is a file where I guess uh, Shri Narasamy is singing Shri Rupa Manjari Pandas. Very, very simple, mm. but uh, you know, very simple song, but uh, full of love.
you ask Gaurapriya to translate that song, and she she did. I'll share it. I don't have it here, uh, but it's on the. I mean, she wrote on the computer, but uh, I'll, I'll share it because we have the English translation. But um, Gurudev asked Gaurapriya because she knows Bengali. Listen, read the Bengali and write her own, uh, oh, own translation. Oh, yeah. that's very good. Oh, yeah. That's very good. Yeah. Can you bring it tomorrow? Yeah, I can, uh, tomorrow I can. I'll have her read it. Yeah. So. No, it is so. You want to bring it tomorrow? Oh, no, this is. Uh, this is okay. Coconut. Ah, it's not Jana Damaraj from India. Eh? Jana Damaraj from India. Jana Damaraj from Yeah, Bengali Vaishnava is very, you know, nice, you know, because they can read, like, directly, you know. But uh, our foreigner, we have to, you know, through English translation, this is uh, sometimes disadvantage. Yeah. This temple, um, this is Gokulananda, Samadhi, huh? this is a place where Samadhi, huh? Samadhi, 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 Samadhi. Mm -hmm. Nice temple to feel the mood. If any devotees want to go, I'll be happy to.